hello guys thank you so much for stopping by it's been a minute since i did this kind of an intro i have always been behind the cameras but just to show you that i'm doing fine today i decided to create the intro by just showing my face and talking to you some of you joined us uh in the middle of the journey and uh maybe you have been wondering who is this person that has always been talking behind the cameras so it's me so if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by if you have not yet subscribed kindly consider hitting that subscribe button to join the family and don't forget to key, to hit that notification bell to be updated every time we have a new recipe i've already seen on the thumbnail today we are going to bake but before i start disclaimer don't come for me i've never i've never baked anything i'm not good in pastries i don't know anything about pastries so guys today this is something new that i'm going to try so let's do this together and let's hope it will turn out fine so don't expect that you don't do this replace this with what we are doing this be because of what i'm just doing according to how uh i've all i've also seen it so guys just tune in and uh if you're watching this and you're an expert feel free to comment down below and let me know where i've gone wrong or anything i have done uh the wrong way so without wasting much time let's go straight into the video i hope you enjoy watching but before we start kindly subscribe and hit that notification bell <music> guys just as you can see here these are some of the ingredients that we are going to use and we are going to start off with our flour this is all purpose wheat flour and it's 230 grams we have our cooking oil for the cooking oil i told you i won't tell you replace what with what but the cooking oil you can replace this with blue band so for the cooking oil it's uh 160 grams we have six eggs over here here we have baking powder and the baking powder is 11 grams or one tablespoon we also have sugar for the sugar it is 210 grams but you can just uh, change according to how uh, according to how a sweet tooth you are and last here we have our vanilla essence and we are going to use one tablespoon and we are also going to use a tablespoon of salt which i've not yet uh, added here here i have pastry brush we have a hand mixer and we have our baking tin and here is our measuring scale that i used to measure all this i don't have the measuring cups i just ordered some because some of the uh, recipes that I've been watching when you want to the cups but uh, thanks to the measuring scale at least I did the math where uh, for once the, I got to apply the math somewhere so uh, without no much further ado let's go straight into it so guys we are going to start off by mixing the wet ingredients I have already added my six eggs we will add our vegetable oil so if you have the blue band that's where you add it then we add our sugar i don't think i'll put all of that maybe that will be enough then we add in our vanilla essence our vanilla essence one tablespoon of vanilla essence so guys before we start mixing the drying uh, the wet ingredients we are going to preheat our oven uh, for 10 minutes at 180 one uh, at 180 degrees and uh, we want the heat from up and down so let's get to the mix all-purpose wheat flour 
so what i'm doing here is i'm sieving the flour <laughs> i don't know the reason so if you know why uh, people sieve the flour while baking you can kindly comment down below and let me know the reason but we just do the way we see it so let's do this guys <laughs> the flour I now add in the baking powder and the salt guys our butter is ready and the next thing we're going to do uh, is to grease our baking tin I'm just going to grease the tin I have some parchment paper but it will be a struggle for me fixing it here and I'm in a hurry kidogo so I'll just grease the the tin with some margarine and this is how we're going to do it so we are greasing the tin so that our cake won't stick using our pastry brush. Make sure you also grease on the sides. we get our all-purpose wheat flour and sprinkle like that you have this excess we are going to remove them so that's how your tin should remain now we get our butter and we add it in the tin So guys, our timing is 40 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, our heat from up and down, and that's it. A few moments later. Guys, the cake is out of the oven. And that's how you check.
to see if your cake is ready like that so if the knife comes out clean you know that the cake is ready i added 10 more minutes so let's give it 10 minutes or 5 to cool so that we can remove it from